Uriah has gathered much knowledge through her most devout followers, sent to the outer world seeking any information she may require. Most of what we have learned comes from the ruins in Karash, which appear to have existed for longer than life as we know it. And of course, the seer is always willing to help once provided with the right questions by her. It is all so convoluted, I can barely begin to understand. I remember, we once believed in the gods of light and darkness and such, but now... Their kind, that of the first gods. They ruled over everything that existed and would exist for an eternity. Peaceful as they were, they lacked the means to deal with what would end that eternity. The first struggle took place. It is said that most of them perished. A war amongst their kind, a more powerful entity feeding upon them. None of our sources provide us with factual information about the first struggle, only speculations. Amongst the few survivors, there were beings of light and beings of darkness, but only one master of the balance between both. He stepped forth at the end of the struggle to unite the others and create their legacy, a construct none but him could access directly. Yarai, the protector of the Tree of Life that gave us birth, the tree that represented the ten aspects of his people, and from which ten gods would come into existence to function as the protectors and ideals of all their descendants. Ten demons who would serve as the testament of the existence of the first gods and their universe. Ten demon gods to rule over our universe. And ten lovely symbols on the screen. I guess I have to admit, I'm hesitant to continue. Come on, you didn't go this far just to give up now. He said it was a greater cause after all. I fear that once we step into this portal, we might never come back to these lands alive. Why do you want to come anyway? Haven't all my decisions led to awful disasters since we began? All our victories have been small in the grand scheme of things, and many have died because of my desire for answers and revenge. Elinia, while all that is true, you can't deny you have helped us all do more good than any of us alone could otherwise. No one is perfect. Not even gods, as it turns out. But most importantly, we work as a team. I, for one, promise I won't give up in the face of danger. Yes, I know. Galas never gave up either. Nor did Malkesha. That is true. Too true. I understand that you won't be joining us in this suicidal mission, Dermot. So, what will you do? Uh, I will just stay safe and sound here and help defend the castle until I find a way to return home. Maybe try to convince that Lord General or Lord Tarankin. Supreme Lord Tarankin. <laughs> they might be willing to send someone to check on the situation in Kalari if you can secure the portal from the other side. I hope that is the case, yes. Bardil seemed rather grateful for our assistance at the end of the day. Many of our men seem willing to follow you. I just don't know what their motivation is. Money? Bloodshed? Adventure? It's rather strange, really. But I'm sure you could use their help. What will you do, Horo Kiar? Well, they're blue, so I'm guessing they're not coming with us. Well, returning home is out of the question for me with Tyrigaz gone. Those vermin will surely head back here as soon as they hear of our victory. Presumably, led by that hideous demon midget. Right now, there'd be nothing more satisfying for me than breaking his stumpy neck and wearing his hollow skull as an helmet. Who are they talking about? Demon midget? Not Narhamoth, he's hardly a midget. As soon as I may, I'm returning to Quenoth Isle to spread the word about all these events. Perhaps if the war comes to an end first, we could even send some people back here to trade with the humans and orcs. I know that's all very unlikely with the current state of things, but 
Reeming never hurt anybody? I guess so. Okay, little cutscene and we pass through the gateway. Life, water, thunder, earth, fire, darkness, light, air, existence. The forces governing our reality all sprung from the tree, along with the seeds of their guardians and their respective worlds. In time, life would spread farther beyond throughout our universe, while ten worlds would enjoy the rule of their assigned protectors. But things did not go exactly as planned. Okay, so which is which? This is life, it looks like an animal paw. Guess this is water. So then thunder, like a flying dragon thing. Earth is green, fire is red. Darkness is this moon. Light is the sun. Air is this purple thing. Exists, uh, ice is this bluish thing. Indigo, I guess, maybe. Not very good with colors. Uh, existence is this spooky yin yang thing. But things did not go exactly as planned. Even in the beginning, the world of the Guardian of Fire fell apart, creating the blazing moon that would in time be known as Karash. The seed of fire crashed into Norsula, paving the way for perpetual chaos on a dark world that was destined to belong to the bellicose beast that was the Guardian of Water, not the fair woman whose songs told of a peaceful existence on a bright land that would never be. The fate of their shared domain hung by the delicate thread of their strange mutual love-hate relationship. In time, that thread would be severed by the Guardian of Water himself by piercing through her heart with his maw. Okay, so the Guardians of Fire and Water are in the same world, Norsula, and the Guardian of Water killed the Guardian of Fire. Around the same time, a remarkably immature Guardian of Darkness would grow inexplicably jealous over Yarae's favoritism towards her sisters of Earth and Life, for both the wielder of the Arcane Flame and the Mistress of the Void had powers and physical attributes she did not. She would rebel against her creator and attempt to harness the full extent of her power, only to fail and cause the utter destruction of all life in her domain including herself. Meanwhile, something happened to the tree. So we don't know who or where the Guardian of Darkness is. The Wielder of the Arcane Flame and the Mistress of the Void, they are the Sisters of Earth and Life, I guess. Not 100% sure which is which. It is said a powerful force beyond imagination possessed it and its protector. Yarek turned against the first gods and fled into our universe to summon the powers of his remaining demons against his own brethren. Only three of our guardians refused the call, aware that disobeying him constituted an unforgivable sin and that they could not stand a chance against his ire. The remaining first gods saw no option but to sacrifice themselves to create a new entity that could rival the traitor and his corrupted creations. Illuvia, the avatar of the Union of Light and Darkness. She would obtain the support of the three guardians who remained loyal to the first gods and their purpose. Uriah of Life, a sister of Earth and the Arcane Flame. Okay, Arcane Flame and Earth are the same thing. And her sister of existence and secrets. With their combined forces, they defeated Yare and incarcerated him within the Great Void. Alas, the cost was too great. All the other guardians were destroyed, and so were the mortals who joined his cause, willingly or not, as well as those unfortunate witnesses of the lengthy battle between gods. Okay, so all of the other guardians, other than the good ones, um, Uriah, Earth and Arcane Flame, and Existence and Secrets, all, they all died. Our three goddesses did not have the power to repair the great damage caused, and, more importantly, it was never within their abilities to resurrect the fallen. 
with her last forces, Illuvia instructed them to take the bulk of the survivors to the remote worlds of Urvatha and Silida, so they could continue to progress on their own in a reality set apart from the rest, created by the Guardian of Existence and guarded by the gatekeepers born from her many hearts. Uriah and her sister of Earth sacrificed their lives to restart the process that brought them into existence, wiping out any remaining lives lost, along with their own, thus putting an end to the first cycle. Okay, so everyone dies. Life flourished anew, with the hope of a new beginning, but the goddesses knew that it would not be the same. The tree is tainted with imperfection, and so is our universe, strife and chaos, death and misery. Near the end, the goddesses saw what was coming for us, and although no one had the chance to document it in detail before the process began, they did leave some clues. And to ensure we would have the necessary resources to forge our own destiny, Illuvia provided us with the legacy of the first gods, two orbs each one holding the essences of light and darkness, and her own sacred body. Their locations remained unknown until relatively recently. Erdia, wherein the seed of Earth was planted, no longer tied to its guardian. Norsula, wherein the new guardians of water and fire would finally find peace. And Ethea, wherein the seed of life would prosper in solitude until the new guardian would return to claim it. And it is with Illuvia's legacy that our new guardian of life intends to put an end to the fruitless existence to which we were doomed. Okay, episode two, uh, bleh, episode three, scenario five, Pass of Sorrows with a cutscene gathering storm. There's absolutely nothing hinting at this place having served as a chaos base of any sort in recent times. It's completely deserted and ruined. I fear we have been misled. We might not even be in Kalari, for all that I know. No. I recognize that mountain range to the south. We... we never saw what lay north of it. We are a little farther from Kalari than I expected. But it's not like any of us, or our allies, knew exactly where the Path of Sorrows is. Let us proceed south, carefully. Yep, let's proceed south very, very carefully, because I don't want to have to redo all of that voice acting because I screw this bit up. Explore around, that's our objective. Um, does it say anything about recruiting units? No, I guess I'm going to find some though, sooner or later. Can I get vampire bats? Yes, I can, good. If I've got invisible terrain. It'd be good to have one or two of you just to show me where I'm going. And as for you, you can go over here. Okay, so we can see a dire wolf, which is level three. Ah, okay. Are you going to go for Irelian? Um, Alright, so there are going to be enemies, so I might as well start getting some loyals. Um, first of all, you, um, the person who probably should have died in the last battle. Um, I'll have some combat units first. Good start. Now, in case the wolf comes and attacks Irelian, I'm going to come out, give her a bit of health with Elinia. Yep, there we go. Ah, weak source. Didn't even damage her, not with the healing that Elinia provided. You run home. You guys are too slow to do anything useful. You're not her. You can come around. 
You can come up here. Oh, watch your defense, mate. Okay, um... Just wanted to scout that one square in the top corner, otherwise it was going to annoy me. Looks like there is impassable mountain to the south of me. That's all well and good. So now... another kill for Avethan. The more after maximum levels I can get for him, the better. He's already had one, two, possibly two. I think just one, but um, he's a beast. Oh, there's another wolf. All right. Oh, and it can attack Avethan. Hopefully he's stronger than the wolf. He is. Very high vision units here, gotta be careful. Because this is gonna be a big, horrible battle, and I could lose. I think I'd have to be a bit unlucky, but. I've been a bit unlucky before, let's just say. I don't want to over recruit at this particular point in time. And I don't know what I'll be facing, so I'll just go up to my income limit, and then I'll stop. I'm going to get this Fire Fairy. Because it's a movement scenario, I'm a bit reluctant to get the Revenant, because it's just going to be slower than everyone else. Still, I've got, I've got this Elven Hero, who's also pretty slow. So, yeah, let's do it. Oh, something weird's happening with the income. Okay, well, I'll leave it at that and uh, take it from there. See what happens to make him next turn. We're on 319 for now. And you can go there. Why do you heal? heal? Um, ah, always rest heals. Ah, okay. So he can move and uh, and heal. That's very handy for someone with the bloodlust. All right. Keep an eye out for more wolves. Oh, we've got rats, giant rats, and then there's a cave. All right. Yeah. Um, no more over recruiting. Let's just go for it. I am. Get I've got a good income balance though. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it at this. Just gonna put you there for now. You want to come and fight, you can come and fight Anya. Nothing else to be seen. Bit of a shame that I recruited all these bats. What have I got back here? Okay, so there is a dread bat, which is probably going to come and attack one of my bats. You always rest heals, so you might as well advance a little bit. In fact, you can go to the village. And you just stay where you are. You bats stay where you are. Ah, the fog is getting thicker. Oh, can't quite reach the dread bat. Um, try and use Anya to zap that then. Ah, 
I can at least trap it. Yep, I guess I'm gonna have to trap it. Meanwhile... Oh, it's so tempting to use the plague stuff, but no, I'm just gonna zap it. Oh, you don't, you don't block. <laughs> you don't cause the area of effect. And now you can't move. Wah, wah, wah. Can you reach? Yeah, you can. All right, now you can't reach Abeth, and he can get back to full health. In fact, he can even move up and get back to full health that way. And I can use you to further explore. All right, we've got more rats. We've got more pass. We've got some leeches. There's another bat. And it can't reach us this turn. That's good. What are you going to do? Probably go for my swords master. Or someone else weak. Or maybe just kill this bat. I don't know. The solitude of this place is unsettling. Okay, you know what else is unsetting? Having a flippin' bat flying around the place. But apparently no one is capable of hitting. Alright, if you go first then you will be attacked by the Dread Bat, everyone else can move up behind. Not having you be attacked by the Dread Bat, that would be a very bad idea. Berserk and Drain is an extremely bad combination. You keep moving, slowly. And you hop back. All right, ready to go. Oh. And a decent amount of damage. All right, Mr. Obsidian Battle Axe is useless. And Aurelian fails to get the kill. You are dead. Could go for that. Still don't know what's out here. So I'm going to send a bat and do some more scouting. I can't see any other enemies. Where can Crandall go? Crandall can go there, that's cool. Can get attacked by the rat, that's not a problem. Nothing up there. The Alinea is right at the back.
Just enough damage to prevent Krendel from getting to full health. Ah, that's what a 15-3 cold damage attack can do at night. Fantastic. Okay, scout. And there's a leech on a castle. Interesting. Okay, well, if I conquer that castle, I should be able to recruit some more troops. Elenia, Irelian, you should see this. Whoa. These ruins appear to be centuries old, probably older than the Chaos Empire itself. I imagine they have re remained untouched by our enemies because of their inconvenient location. What may have become of their former denizens? There's a large monolith over there. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's weird. So now... Apparently, because, so because Anya has already moved, she now can't move. That's a bit of a... That's a bit of a tomato surprise. I'm not... Ah! And all my units are all the way back here. Yeah, not a fan of that. You can't get healed by Alinea anymore either. That was the plan. And you guys are just going to slowly advance. How how much do I press forward this turn, and how much do I just wait for the enemies to come to me? You're not a leader, so you can't recruit. I suspect the best plan is just to grab some houses. There we go, and hope that Anya doesn't get smushed. All right. Whew. So that was a possibility. Okay. Anya at least managed to acquit herself relatively well. And then there are a lot of level 3 units knocking around. You can just get in. You should stay where you are and slow or stun this wolf. Poor old Aurelian, I think. You can get in. Hmm. And if you can kill a wolf, you'll level. Tempting prospect. Yeah, easy. Easy money. There we go, and now you've got 67 health. You're pretty good in this situation. Oh, actually, as are you. You come and try and defeat this. Uh, you could get pretty badly whacked by the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird's level two. Let's see if I manage to take down this wolf. I'm, yeah, and yes, I'm happy to put Irelian next to a leech. <laughs> All right, one hit, that's fine. Okay, Rogar gets the kill. Uh, 
That'll do. Now we only need three hits. And I've got another forest spirit. Could go for dryads, but why would you want to do that? Almost killed the leech. You guys get running. This is the slow brigade. They've all got five movement back here. Not sure. I mean, there, two of them are loyal, so, you know, recruiting them wasn't a terrible, terrible loss. Slight jamminess there. Who do I want to kill the leech with? It's level one. I mean, there's a potion here, interestingly. Let's go and investigate with a bat. It appears to be a potion vial. Uh, no, it's a bat. Got to cautiously advance here. There's a dire wolf, there's a great wolf. Maybe another dude hiding down here. Okay. The, the dire wolf can reach this village. Now you are safe there because you're pretty hench. I'm not going to bring you out though. Instead, going to make a line in these woods. And you just come and scout, I think. I can always get another one of you if you die. We can deal with these poisons. Uh, poisons. Probably maybe are poisons. Potions next time. So it's, it's pretty weird to have just a random potion. Maybe I should explore the uh, the monolith before picking up the potions. Keep good old Avathan behind. Get a little bit more health for Crendil, and everyone's on the same screen, including the bad guys. Out comes the wolf. Oh. Well, at least it saved them from attacking anyone good. Good kill for Nalan, getting on the way towards champion. And now I need to sort out these two wolves. There are two wolves inside you. Well known fact. Alright, Elukia's strong point is clearly not slowing people. Uh, Alinea can do that, fortunately. You're too slow to do anything. <laughs> 
the effect of um, teleporting units on fog is really weird. So now I can see everything back here because she's close to a to a village. Okay, you've got three health. You should be a nice easy kill for Abathon. Now you pick up this potion vial. Okay, you got an empty potion vial. Go and sit on a village. Didn't do anything. And I can't see that it's on you. Unless that's the symbol on the top right, could be. Alright, you're healing up nicely on your own, so you can come and have another leech to kill if you want. Or at least to severely wound. And you're close to becoming a Draug, which is great. Alright, you go and visit the monolith. Elinia should be the one to investigate this monolith well. I can make that happen, but not this turn. You pick up the potion vial. It appears to be a potion vial! It's still empty. I love giving elves the crustiest of public school accents. I don't understand this inscription. Some glyphs vaguely resemble the ancient ceremonial elvish script, but I don't recognize the rest. The wind blows. Wait! What? She. What's going on? Anya, as always, asking the relevant questions. This past is inhabited by restless spirits of the past. My lady. Okay, defeat enemy leaders. Um, I don't see any enemy leaders. And I'm not all that happy that a bunch of very, very powerful skirmishing units have just appeared thanks to my loyal troops, to be honest. Um, okay, Elinia, you can deal with the first one. Uh, what? There seem to be more undead creatures crawling out of the caverns to the south. Perhaps if we can clear them out, we'll find a way out of this valley. Uh, wh wh why did I miss? I mean, I guess I could have just missed. Does everyone still have to survive? Maybe it's one of these scenarios where where you don't miss, where you don't hit, and maybe where they don't hit either. I guess we'll find out. Is everyone just going to head south, or... I mean, that, that would be leaving Elinia in a spot of pickle. But at least these green undead to the south look relatively harmless compared to the ones that are up north. Like, this number of flipping night gaunts I am not okay with. I'm actually going to save here, just in case something really dumb happens. 
And then put a few tanky units down here. Oh, you'll do. Okay, there's there's an ancient lich. Good to know. Oh, we've got to love ancient liches. You come down here. Don't quite want to get you in range of this blood bat. Shouldn't kill you, but stranger things have happened. Alright, you stay in the woods next to Elenia. Okay, so these things are in principle killable. I was just really unlucky before. Um, that's not great. Well, you were only going to slow me down, I guess. Well, you've got a lot of recruitment juice. Uh, okay. And I don't have many people left, so I guess I'm going to have to go back north, take out these night gaunts. You're a champion. Oh, you could go into the woods, couldn't you? Are there more of you around? There could be. You're invisible at night, after all. And your skirmishes. Hmm. A kill for Aurelian. Gonna get some bats soon. Good to kill for Crendil. Sigh. And no one else can reach. Oh, well. So what I want to do here then is send a linear here, recruit some units, or maybe recall some units. I think I'm going to want, I'm going underground as the jam would say, so I'm going to want some wraiths. Who's good at taking out ancient liches? Um, well, no one really. <laughs> Maybe my forest spirit. You're the meteor of the two. Yeah. Hopefully that three hit points won't make a crucial difference. Because I want the one who's going to get a level. Oh dear, you can both reach Avethan. Uh, that is really not good. Another potion bottle here. Is it going to be empty? I guess we'll see. Okay, if I park you there, then... Actually, that's not much use, is it? Oh well. 
I doubt you'll be able to kill my swords master. Oh, another flippin' night gaunt. Fuck off and die, please. Okay, hopefully that's the end of them. Sorry, wait, you thought this was a PG-13 stream? I'm not even in the US. PG-13 has no meaning for me. Alright, let's strategize. I don't want to keep people fast enough to kill bats so that they can actually kill bats. You're not fast enough to kill anything. Um, one of you can... Uh, not likely to get the kill though, are you? A bit more likely to get the kill now, with three hits. But you didn't manage it. So I'll try and finish the job with the other one. And that village has been captured by undead. Good. More bats. You just hop down there. Guard the entrance. More bats. So many more bats. I can block up the entrance at least. Oh, for f you go and grab that village. Okay, you're not dead. Let me block that entrance. You then can come round here. And what the hell, I'll have my other forest spirit as well. I've got a ton of money. And then I want some thugs. You're cool, you're resilient and strong, and then I'll have a new one. And now you go and perch yourself there so you can do the maximum amount of useful healing. Bats are queuing up to be slaughtered, and there is some. Uh, there are some ghosts here, some forces of the blue player. Could do with plugging these entrances better. I mean, ultimately, I need to push forward, but don't know when or if that will be possible. So.
rubbish. Yeah, get the pros in. And no one can reach my wounded wraith. for you. <laughs> nice kill without getting poisoned. You're the slightly tankier one, so you should go in the position where you're going to tank the most damage, which is probably here. You come and beat the shit out of this skeleton. so that it can be finished by the other forest spirit. Oh, you can reach my wraith, can't you? Oh, you can, okay. Get an emergency sacrificial thug on the job. Here I'm going to recruit, let's have a ghost, since the enemy is doing it. That many more skeletons, I don't feel like I want to go super heavy on the thugs, but then again, thugs are useful. Do I have any more powerful units that it would be useful to have? No, you guys are all fairly useless in this situation, other than maybe the foot pads and none of you are experienced enough. Let's get another thug. Then you go down there and give these guys some healing. And you fly across here, ready to give this squad some healing. And you just hop there. And we're good. The only thing that's slightly frustrating is that, well, Aurelian might get poisoned. If that happens, I can heal it. Two hits out of three, despite 60% defense. And let's start cleaning these guys up. You hop back one, you can take out this first ghost, or maybe you can. No, you can't. Not you that useless. Okay. So many enemies. And another probably empty poison. Potion bottle.
convince you to here, maybe, because someone would have to stand in the light to find you. Well, you might be too good at killing everything if you go there, so let's stay back for now. Oh, so many undead! This is going to be one heck of a boring fight. Narrow passageways and many, many level 1 undead. It is the, the, the sort of original was not experienced though in some ways <clears throat> okay you kill the person who who poisoned you Alinea, you can kill this walking corpse Poor showing there from Skeleton Archer. Better showing there from my Wraith friend. I'm gonna stick a sacrificial thug in the way. Are you you are any of you resilient? Um no, you're all too intelligent. You're you're strong and strong and intelligent. Okay, well. I'll put you in the way. You can come down. Oop. You can come down here. Okay, keep going. Ah. <sighs> We've got bats coming over here. Bats are annoying. Thugs aren't good against bats. Should I advance one square and just kill this guy and see what the bats and necrophages do to me? Might not be too bad an idea. The with putting a champion on the front line is that they're so powerful that they can just munch through anything, and then that might be a problem. So I feel like I ought to put you there, and actually just another thug over here, and recruit more thugs. And get you into the woods so you can get a bit of health. You guys stay where you are. You come down here. And. Oh, so many skeletons. Okay, good kill for Anya. Stick you there. And Rogar, the Swordsmaster, is pretty tough. So 
they can go here. Now blue, because he's higher in the turn order than green, is going to get in the way for a while and stop me from killing green's troops. I guess that's fine, green's got some expensive level 2s floating around, so at least it'll stop him recruiting more. Still, this is going to take several turns. Looks like I might be able to progress down here, if I use the right units. a good kill for Elinia. Everyone just sh shuffle yourself around. Okay, that was completely hopeless. Um, I really managed to miss with both attacks. And now I need to get some thugs in the way, but my thugs are all too slow. So, what's the alternative plan? Sacrificial ghost? Yeah, probably. This turn might hurt on that side. Here though, it's just very slow. I can't. I don't want to advance yet um, on this flank. I open up too much trouble for myself. I can't really bring my force of numbers to bear. Ugh. Anyone else here need health? No, doesn't look like it. Maybe I'll send you around here, actually. This flank looks like it's actually struggling more. It's got. It's because it's not got as many powerful units on. That's the problem. Same units here. Good. You run away. You have another go. You get a kill. to start worrying about getting within range of the Ancient Lich. When I do that, hopefully that's when these thugs are going to come into their own. Ah!
Well, I'm gradually, gradually working through these guys, and I'm lucky this ghost is still alive because. <coughs> Ghosts getting shot by bone shooters is one way to have. I was going to say one way to have them go to an early grave, but uh, the concept isn't really appropriate here. Okay, you, if you get the kill, will you level? Yeah, you will, alright. Perfect, we've got a bandit on our hands. Everyone else, stay where you are. You come down here. Another great turn for you. Everyone's doing incredibly badly at hitting Anya, it's great. She can pretty much regenerate all the damage she takes. Yeah. Gotta watch out for archers, gotta watch out for you, actually. You can't kill. Maybe I'll weaken you up. Yeah, perfect. And then you can head out. Someone else can head in, maybe you. And now if you die, it's not the end of the world by anyone's... by any stretch of the imagination. Right, now this area is looking a bit less swamped, I will soon be able to head out there in force. Stop hiding. As usual, everyone misses. Yeah, they're not even interested in fighting up north. I'm gonna try and push forward yet one more turn on this flank, I think. So, so tempting. Mm. Yeah, why not? Why not this turn? Because of this guy. I want this guy to get out of the way first. He's one person who can do some amount of damage to my troops. The green is recruiting actually more irritating units because they're less easily killable by thugs. Blue's just got skeletons and I've got some interesting level twos. The fact is, even if I kill you, which is unlikely because only one unit can reach, I mean that would be three hits, it's possible. 
I'd be defending in a very awkward position here. Next turn. Green player is just terrified of engaging. I'm not going to make any progress this way, so I guess I will have to push in. This zombie is not slowing anything down, so I'll go straight in, with the only concern being the Ancient Lich himself might come out to fight if I do that, so I've got to avoid these two squares. Still empty vials. We'd need two hits. We'd need one hit. That's the least risky. And there's a wraith back there. Alright, we got another level for Anya, and since everyone wants to keep attacking her in melee, it's very tempting to give her extra strength. And I think focus for extra noctum damage would be good, but it's not quite as useful as this. So now even the Wraith should think twice about fighting there. Okay, my forest spirit could get mobbed over here. I don't want to put anyone on that hill either. My very experienced wraith is just too precious to leave to the possible depredations of another wraith. Um, I could move Rogar the Swordmaster, Swordmaster there. That's a pretty safe spot. Well, relatively speaking. Oh, 59 health. You're too slow. Alright, over here you come out. You are now healthy enough to come back in again. Still up to your usual tricks of not hitting anything, I see. Review forward one, maybe? Get closer to the Lich and kill more units. Would put you out on a limb. On 47 health. Okay, you missed. In some ways that makes my situation easier. You stay where you are. You folks... Want to come inside? It's nice and warm in here. Could put a wraith there. I have a get attacked twice for no real reason. Shame you can't get further. 
could put you there, you'd be on 55% defense, could get death bladed. It's not your favorite time of day. And there are bats around. You're just so experienced though. I'm not gonna put anyone there, I'm just gonna put you here. And have everyone else follow up behind. player is not doing much. Moving around. Now as long as I keep pushing in, this bandit should not be in any trouble whatsoever. If I do keep pushing in, I have a risk of drawing out the boss man, who's got the staff of Achlis. Uh, that's going to be some sort of cool, relevant thing, and yeah, it's a powerful melee attack. So starting on the right flank, I'll bring you out here and kill this archer. Or not kill this archer. kill the archer and you can move in do some fire damage to this ghoul who's then going to get double teamed from the other side beautiful you step here you great you've got your mojo back at least so it would appear uh oh One less bat. You're annoying. Come fight me, you fool. I've got a decent ish defensive line. That's not a safe spot. I could try and lure the leader out with a ghost. Maybe that would be a worthy sacrifice for this 13 experience ghost. Yeah, why not? Someone who can't be poisoned. Come and have a go here. Ah, uh, you're not quite strong enough. You're not quite tough enough. Okay, you get poisoned. You just get out of the way so that I can whack this wraith once or twice. Once. <laughs> no! Fail to kill the Wraith. That's unbelievable and unacceptable. Okay, this 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 assault is completely stalled. No one else can get around there. Then you Okay, but I feel like their defences are collapsing a bit. Just have to be smart. Ah, 
That's really annoying. Okay, none of that went at all how I expected it to go. Um, and Elinia has been poisoned, which means that she has to go and seek medical attention. Um, let's see if I can batter through enough of these units that my healers can meet up. got another wraith or maybe a shadow i don't much like shadows can never keep them alive but maybe one would be handy maybe not right now i think the arcane damage is more useful right now Alright, we're in a good place, and there are no blue units around. There is a mushroom, just the one. Okay. So he has come out of his cave, but not into a particularly useful position. Whatever I do before I get to him, I'm going to need to clear out these two these zombies, and then be clever with my movement. Well, whatever I do, I'm not going to want to use wraiths to kill him. So first of all, let's try you. Perfect. A lot of bats around here, gotta be careful. We're the only people fast enough to go in there. Well, these guys are fast.
And this is a tempting fight to take, even with Drain, I think I can take it. And then no one else should be able to get in the way. There we go. And then these guys over here can do the Lord's work. Lock the castle. Ooh, there's death bats over there. Okay, good, but you're dead. And you can reach the lich. How far can you reach? Not far, not far. Alright. Oh dear, okay. And he's got Drain and a powerful melee attack. And now, I can't get enough other units in to do the damage. You're too far away to provide leadership because you're really slow in the cave. You can get all the way around. These two incredibly experienced raids, one of whom is probably going to die if I fuck this up. Okay, well, that was really good from Irelian. Try you. Two hits, please. Fuck you. The Lich's staff is glowing. What could it possibly mean? Well, we're not going to find out straight away. Or are we? No, priority is at this point to stop Alinea from getting killed. Let's let's uh, scramble the troops to make sure that doesn't happen. some of these houses too. You have a look at the staff. So the leech was carrying the staff. Oh, it's all covered in filth and dry rotten flesh. How about we let Irelian take a look at it instead? Okay, next turn. You go get the faraway house. You can get the nearby house. You can come over here and get some healing. Don't care what you guys do. You go there. And I think this is going to be a dead end, but uh, we've got some juicy items to pick up anyway. Rip that guy. Oh, at least a good bit of damage. 
And these are dead ends, so let's clear them out. First of all, yeah, get rid of the bats. Not with rates, because rates are crap for killing bats, apparently. With a linear. There we go. It'd be quicker to give you an after maximum level than to have you plod around healing up your enormous amounts of health. Okay, so you now pick up this staff. The Lich must have been using the power of this staff to cast poison on us. I have a feeling I'm the only one who's willing to experiment with it, so I may as well just grab it, don't you think? Don't do it, Irelian! You'll turn into another bad guy necromancer who I have to fight in a random encounter. Okay. So, arcane resistance is decreased by 10%. Melee and arcane magic inflict the poison effect on targets. It's a good thing that undead wielders are immune to the staff's aura. Um, however, Irelian is not. Ugh, I feel very much unwell now. <laughs> Hopefully it will pass after a while. You know, this is one of those times I feel that it's perhaps time for me to have a proper look into the whole lichdom business. It might save me a lot of trouble in the long run. In order to make my life just a bit easier, I'm going to pretend you have the situation under control and that you aren't being affected by the power of your new toy at all. I will be alright. I just need a few minutes while I throw up in the corner over there. Well, before you do that, please first kill this bat. Grand. Okay. And now we can get some... Other units in. You can be a fungus killer. You can go onto this house and kill this fruit with one last fungoid. And here finally is a potion that is not empty. Who's going to take it? Maybe our experienced thug. The small vial seems to still have essence left in it. Uh, what's it going to do? I guess we'll find out. Oh wow! Vial of Shardia's Tears. This vial contains a purer form of fire essence that seemingly lasts forever. The damage dealt by the unit in melee combat is increased by 1 and its type is set to fire. The unit's fire resistance is increased by 10% and its cold resistance decreased by 5%. Alright, so now I've got a thug who deals fire damage. I wasn't expecting that, but there you go. You go and look at this one. Another empty vial. Ooh, there's a spider and there's some bats, but they're around a corner. That was a Poor damage dealing round. And Laria shows how it's done. You come here and heal these guys. Anyone else need healing? You need healing. You need healing. You can progress. You are painfully slow. You stay where you are as well. I'm not going to hire anyone else, not for this is a passage. Only got 19 turns left, so that's a bit of a worry. worth going over here. I can go over here with my forest uh, spirits and spectres. 
Okay, we've got a Death Knight here. Not near enough. Alright, pretty poor showing from Mr. Rogar. And there is not there is a wraith back here, so that's a worry. So but I've already moved, so I'll just have to block that wraith. Should be able to do that with appropriately placed fire spirits. You're too slow. You're too slow, so it's the Wraith and the Skeleton that I'm worried about. So I can put you on the house. There are spiders down there, and that looks like where I need to get to. Of course, my undead units can just fly around. Wow, you are so slow. Start moving out with some people who aren't super slow. And leave the real slow pokes till the end. You're not too bad. No, you're not too slow. You need to come anyway. Guess you just go up there. I hope I'll get some more turns. Okay, well, what are you going to do? You can do what you want, I don't care what you do. That could have hurt a lot more. As could that now I thought that this Death Knight was in fact the leader, but it is not in fact the leader. And these spiders I need to be careful of them. It's empty. Who knew? There we go, and that's a spectre. Two spectres within a couple of turns of each other. How oh, fantastic. Serendipity itself. You're a bit wounded. Are you going to go into the forest? I love spectres. The trouble with you guys is you give you have leadership as well as those other abilities. So if I don't kill this archer, I could be in a spot of bother. Let's lead with Tara. Or maybe not lead. Who's back there? Another Wraith? Hmm, okay. This is risky territory. Okay, well, you, you, I mean, you guys can all reach anyway, regardless of what I do, so 
I'm just going to count on you being too dumb to use your abilities. That wasn't great. Could have been worse though. You just hop back to the house, get some health. You get ready to jump in. You get ready to jump in. You get ready to jump in. There is another lich approaching, so... could do with having my with these guys up front but they're just not are they and they won't be so I'll deal uh. Whew. that could have gone very badly but now all of our enemy eggs are in one friendly little underground basket so, you... Is that the Wraith? then it's a level for you. You can reach this skeleton, but only just, so... Who do I want to close the account? You can try. Okay. You can't move fast enough. Can we explore a bit more? You're a bit funny, you just sit there. The elves are really not in their element here. This we know. Okay, we're in a good position to lure this guy out next turn, maybe even with a with a thug. No, not with a thug, he's too slow. I have to lure him out with something. Ah! I'm running out of turns. Oh, there goes the bat. Just waiting till it could attack my vamp, my flipping necromancer. Well, at least it gives the guys at the back something to do. None of them are particularly good at fighting bats. Who's going to lure out the Ancient Lich? Only 10% cold resistance, minus 10% to arcane. Well, I feel like you'd be pretty jammy. 
to get the kill on the forest spirit on 50 health so I'm going to put you there cross my fingers Elinia come right behind Luclea you come right behind you just move on Fire damage thug is going to do his fire damage thing. You're not fast enough, which is good. Everyone else can wait in the wings. You see where you are. Okay, you're not tempted. Once again, it's risky, yeah, especially attacking you on 40% terrain. There we go. Now this guy has to be juicy enough for you to come and attack. You can attack who you want, I don't give a crap about you. Uh, you're too expendable to be wasting time healing. I will come in. I will. I promise I will attack you. If you don't go for this guy. There you go. Oh. Huh. He didn't even kill my thug. Well, this guy is a survivor. Now, once again, Elinia is in trouble if I can't kill this lich with spectres, fire people, and everything else. Fortunately, I can. Free. At last. Who are you? Many centuries ago. Our ancestors came from the great southern desert, seeking fertile lands to settle. They gave up much to get to this valley, their lands, their families. Most of them died along the way. The few survivors found a ruined temple amidst the mountains, probably built by an extinct civilization. From the temple, they learned the ways of fire magic, and the song of Sharia. She who forged knowledge from the fire of her hearts. They thrived 
with their newfound skills and the protection granted by the precipitous mountain range. Then he continued to learn from her and longed for the day when she would come to this earth, bless it with her song. And in time, so did we until one day a man shrouded in darkness came. His eyes were bright like Naya's never-ending shine, with mouth concealed by twisted metal and decaying flesh. His companions called him Malzagar. He spoke a message from the so-called goddess of life from beyond the void, Yoran, who had tasked him with the mission of spreading her voice to all non-believers in this land. But other than the goddess who gave us our fire magic, we would worship no one, especially not someone who only communicated through an embodiment of the unnatural like that dark prophet. And so we dismissed his words as the blasphemous ram of a barbarian. In time, we would be proven wrong. Years later, the man returned, not without a, but not with a handful of trusted followers. Instead, he brought with him innumerable horrors from the abyss to rain acid and smoke upon our homes. He gave our leader a last chance to convert to his unholy sect. That is to say, I was offered that last chance. Everyone was slaughtered. Everyone except me, my brother, the child with beautiful hair, whom we believed was the heiress of her fire. But never before we saw one of our own be born with the same hair color as our goddess. Just like the scrolls and books we hoarded, we eventually lost her to the walking vultures of the desert who took her as their own. They spared her life, seeing as she was but a child, but her own fate was vastly different. The goddess of life had cursed us to linger in this form and dwell in the caves beneath the earth in shame. The light of the suns we once revered became a scorching enemy by day. Fire magic was quickly displaced by shadow magic, as we could no longer even withstand the heat of our flames. We had too become embodiments of corruption, a mockery of the beings we once were. We vowed to take revenge upon the dark courier who brought disgrace upon our kind, and anyone who was ever close to him and his followers. I, we would be destroyed and released from our prison, or our curse would be extended to the creatures we abhorred, but it is all over now. We may still be able to find her on the other side of the veil and bask in the glory of her song. You know, I didn't actually ask for your life story. Argan. Oh, Elinia? I, I am fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, the gate is open. We can progress. Proceed to the southern cavern exit with Elinia. First stop is to prevent Elinia from dying and prevent my spectre from dying. That, I think, just involves getting some of these undead units in the way. Some of these, uh, sorry, some of these happy fire units in the way. Might as well go straight in for this guy. They can't kill me.
Okay, people, let's move. Ah, uh, sorry, these guys. Team slow. No, I have to move a linear to the south, right? Yeah. Okay, so no hanging back, waiting for her to heal. And I've got a highwayman now, all other highwaymen. And I can give someone this kill. It'd be nice to give it to you, but you're too far back. Okay, we can see a spider there. The uh, It's not one of the strongest spiders. So I'll just lure it out with my forest spirit. Get a wraith for backup. Bring in Anya. Again, doing weird things with the teleport logic. You folks come round to the front as well. What's in this potion bottle? Let me guess. Nothing. All right, let's get this spider out of the way. Preferably in melee combat. You get a good rest after doing that. And I know I did see that there's another spider down here, so let's flush it out. Again, a good tough forest spirit. Should be able to tank its damage, especially in light in there. And I can move Alinea forward one, and I can move my other healer forward one, and you can be healed, and everyone gets the health they need. Bonanza. Everyone else is pretty much healed anyway. You can heal yourself. Position. You guys just move along. Let everyone get into place. You come down here. There we go. It'd be really funny if there was just a little secret exit here. That would make my day. Well, these villages are still accessible. Perfect round of combat from that forest spirit. Let's see if you can duplicate that from worse terrain. Oh. 
No, but you don't get poisoned. And it's a level for Aurelian, who's now on 77 health. And that, I think, is it for this level, pretty much. You can grab that, because you need the healing. Doesn't look like there's anyone else down here. So you just progress. Sometimes they ask me, George, you they ask me, um, for that is my real name. Why, why do you move all your units when you only need to move one unit to win the scenario? Well, it's because I like to bore my viewers half to death. There we are. And let me see, this last potion vial is going to be empty, isn't it? It appears to be a potion vial. And it's empty. Okay, Linear, in you go. We don't know what lies outside. Are you sure you want to proceed, my lady? Well, we have... I think looked around these caves all we can. So yes, I think it's time to go. A lone troll. He bears an unusual sigil on his armor for a troll. Hail there, whoever you are. Are you our enemy? The old battle-hardened troll stared at the sky for a minute before answering, while Anya and Irelian eyed each other nervously. Kron works for no one but the Storm Lady. Alinea, would that be? Yes, I think so. Kron, if you allow me to ask, where is this person? We may or may not have arranged a meeting with her here. This is a quite urgent matter, and are you even listening to me? There. The demoness descended from the sky in an impressive whirl of dust and leaves. Anya and Illyrian, Illyrian stared in awe, and immediately knew they would be at a disadvantage if she were in fact their enemy. But Alinea did not have an opportunity to entertain such thoughts. She could tell at first glance that in spite of her young age, the Demon Lord of the Storms was not the type that would take admiration and other displays of weakness very well. After all, she had risked it all and come only to enlist powerful allies for her dwindling cause. All right. I think these two look rather frightening. Okay, Demon Lord of the Storms, I suppose. That is correct, Elinia, the Lady of Light. I have been eagerly awaiting this moment. For weeks, what took you and your party so long? I heard you hired the services of the Northerners to prepare an assault to the Gateway Fortress instead of infiltrating it on your own. That wasteful spectacle could have ruined our plans. But your plans are intended to help us. Or is this just part of a convoluted scheme to help catch me off guard near your headquarters? My priority is putting a halt to Uriah's schemes, preferably while keeping collateral damage to a minimum. There just are not a lot of people these days who can truly be trusted. I had to ask the human seer to deliver my message to you, because sensing people's intentions is not one of your powers, and you have committed too many mistakes as of late in that vein. Much like Eloran. Eloran? 
I tried to warn him that Django sent his new pets after him. Who never allowed my minions to approach him or his informants? I assume he never told you that. Repeat that name. Django. How? He recently became the fist of Uriah. Thought Elora and you of all people on Erdia would be aware of this. Elenia, you don't look good. Why? Why is he here? Why is he on Erdia? Again? I, I did everything within my power to... to... Destroying a shapeshifter of his level is nigh impossible. And frankly, you never truly learned to employ the power of the Union effectively. Argan and you played around with it like children, instead of working towards harnessing its full potential. But I don't blame you. There is a lot you need to learn right now, and I can help you with that. However, we are running out of time. Okay, it's right. We only have nine turns left. Will you help me? I came to seek your help. Only because our goals converge on the ultimate purpose of ending this war. I can only help you if you are willing to help us. And first, I need to speak to you in private. Very well. All right. 213 bonus gold. Um, there is an early finish bonus, but it's not super huge. But I wasn't getting much gold from hanging around either, so... I don't think I lost out too much there. 213 bonus is a lovely amount. Um, let's just have a look at those stats. Losses. One Revenant. That was painful. Uh, that was the Revenant with the Obsidian Axe as well. Two Thugs and two Vampire Bats. Advancements, on the other hand. Bandit, Elvish Champion, Forest Spirit, Highwayman. Two Spectres and a Wraith. So doing well on the powerful units that I will need in order to beat any more dungeon crawling scenarios we might encounter. Okay, didn't deal quite as much damage as I would expect, but I also took a lot less damage than I would expect. So all in all, everything balances out in the grand karmic resonance. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a like or a comment if you appreciate what I'm doing, and see you next time.